what I understand, you have a love-hate relationship with social media. How has social media hurt photographers? And how has social media helped photographers? I remember when I first started using social media, it was really like a, a second website. It wasn't until Trayvon Martin died that I saw that I could use it for, I could use it as a platform. And for me, the platform was, was, was more like, who are these people that the rest of the world, by the world, I mean, America, white America mostly, because I felt like that, that, was what I, that was who I was talking to. That something that Harry Belafonte said, he said, America took so long to go to Katrina because the South were a forgotten people. And I, all I did was to unwrap that and extended it out to why police were shooting young black boys. Like, you don't see us. And so I started to put up these images. But it wasn't enough to put up the image. It was enough to, because our epitomology, or the epitomology of black imagery has always been hoe, prostitute, thug, lazy. And so for me, adding a caption to an image by putting their names, who they are, where they're from, why they're here, added or clothe, I, I used to tell people that I, I clothe the image. Um, that was how I use social media. Um, I grew as a, I mean like Instagram actually emailed me and asked me about these long captions because I was the first person to, to start using long captions on. I mean I had a, back, back then, I mean I had a, I mean I was tied into Instagram. Um, and all of a sudden, it became industry standard. Everybody started to, to, to use long captions to talk about their work. But then, with the explosion of everybody shooting, um, people start, and, and, and then people start to think that everything that you saw is the truth. Um, I photograph a homeless person I made sure that that person is somebody that I spoke to. If, if, if this person was mentally ill, we're not talking. I'm not taking your image. Because you can't, in this, in this space, you can't give me consent, whether verbally or visually. You'd find other people out there photographing homeless because somebody has already done it. And so, For me, the, the, the influx of images have been, I don't, I don't want to use the word bastardized, or it has become so normal that everybody thinks that everything you put up on social media is the truth, visually, because, because it's here, here, I'm showing it to you. And there's so many ways for people to use that to, to change the narrative, especially in the metaverse, as it's being called now.